Hello, welcome back to Life is Strange Double Exposure. Let's continue. <laughs> Breaking into his office now. All right, let's see what I can find about Maya. These folders are all from this year. I doubt I'll find anything about Maya. That's a lot of junk. But maybe what I need is somewhere in there. Um, oh, that could definitely be Maya Okada. I didn't realize just how much Lucas's book has resonated with people. Yasmin did one of these? Well, this at least confirms Maya took his class. Of course, Lucas is the type of asshole that makes you buy his own book for class. <laughs> Whoa, why were Lucas and Maya meeting so much? This can't be a repeat of what happened at my high school. One time was far too many. Oh, hell no. Pretentious, shiny, and probably hasn't typed a word in years. That's probably his ex-wife. They look really happy here. What the hell? What a strange place to find a key. Must be significant. Doesn't fit. <sighs> That's not what I was expecting. Wait. A million miles beneath my feet? I know this. Maya wrote this. Wow, dude. Come on, there's gotta be a copy in here. Maybe ten of them. Holy shit. It's the same. Finn was right. Lucas does have blood on his hands. This is what I've been missing. This... I have to talk to Safi. Safi, hey. Stay strong, Habibti. You know where to find me. Something wrong? Oh, you want to talk to me now? I've got nothing to say to you. What? Sophie, I... What? Did you spread my business to someone else? Dig up a couple more clues? Shit. She knows I've been asking questions. I'm not sure who you've been talking to, but I have a good reason. Oh, you have a good reason. Well, in that case, what's your good reason, Max? I'm worried about you. I think there might be someone that means you harm. <laughs> yeah. Me too. 
I don't have the energy for this. I think you should leave me alone for a while. Maybe a long while. What the fuck? for me but it's not up to her to take care of me anymore I can't just sit here feeling sorry for myself I need some company I could ask Amanda to help me drown my sorrows hey Gwen Oh, Jesus Christ, here we go. Oh. I'm sorry to bother you, but... I really think you should take a look at the footage. It's weird. Like, game-changingly weird. I think you should fight this. Oh, I can do it. Anything else? Oh, that's all. Um, I hope... just... Take care. Oh, so our best plan is going to be moving across campus well. So... Hey, Max. Oh, fuck. Uh -oh. That's about the level of greeting I'm expecting at this point. Thank you. You okay? Everything's fine. She fell in love with the wrong person. Reggie! What happened to the bro code? Max is a bro. <laughs> you ever have a thing for the wrong person? Show me someone who hasn't, and I'll show you a liar. Or however that saying goes. That's deep, Max. I didn't think I wanted anybody before. Reggie says I should move on, and he's right. I just... I haven't felt this way about anyone, ever. I don't know if I will again. Give yourself some time. Life has a way of surprising us. Really hope you're right. Hey, sport. Working hard or hardly working? <laughs> sport? Cosplaying as a boomer dad today? Hey, you said it first. I doubt it. An old sport is more my style anyway. It's finals week, isn't it? Everyone that's come in here lately has that same frazzled look. A drink to ease your troubles. <laughs> Shot, please. Are we wanting a gasoline on fire flavor experience? Or a sickly sweet rated grandma's liquor cabinet kind of taste you know me if it's not cloyingly sweet I can't drink it have you ever tried a Maro? 
It's this sweet liqueur. It tastes like a whole herb garden went on a week-long bender. Great. Now I'm depressed and scared. <laughs> How are we feeling now? Like, like I keep thinking I've hit rock bottom, but then I realize I'm still falling. <laughs> you are such a disaster. <laughs> oh God, I certainly have a type. You need more than a drink. Let's hang. Don't you have a bar to tend? We don't need to leave the turtle to have fun. Remember that date we were gonna go on? What do you say we have that date now? Let's do it. What are we gonna do? Kidnap the members of Revenge Horse and Force him to play here? As if. Revenge Horse only plays house shows. We might not be able to go to a show for real, but we can always pretend. I guess? Bitch, shut your dumb eyes. <laughs> We pull up to my buddy Eddie's house. We call it the Rat Hole. Best house shows in Lakeport. Revenge Horse goes on at 11, but at the Rat Hole, that means midnight. The place is packed. We can smell Granite Joe smoking a blunt out back. And Eddie waves to us from a table full of scary merch. Sorry, did you say someone called Granite Joe is Alpex smoking up? I take you to meet Granite Joe. <laughs> Dude's a sweetheart. Very generous with his blunts. And do you partake? I am an adult taxpayer, so yes. And then I hand the blunt to you. Well, I don't want to be rude. <laughs> I take a puff and it back to Granite Joe. You try to, but Granite Joe has wandered off. You now have one blunt. Hey, do I hear the band doing a sound check downstairs? Ahead of schedule? Let's check it out. <laughs> Careful, the stairs are steep. <laughs> Revenge Horse opens with my favorite song. Fuck, Mary, kill. <laughs> what? And a mosh pit opens in the smoky dark in front of the stage. Let's hang back and watch the crowd. <laughs> Word. I got us two Roman coats. Now hold on just one minute. Is this Pepsi? <laughs> Damn it. Again? Eddie, we talked about this. <laughs> no peppers for you. Hey, the singer. Is she a stage diver? Hmm. In so much as you can call a thrifted area rug a stage, sure. <laughs> she sets her guitar down and takes a running leap towards the crowd. Run over to the spot where she would land. <laughs> Mag, you weighed 90 pounds soaking wet. No time to think. Okay, she crashes into you. You both go down. Uh, I'm so hardcore. But the singer jumps right back up. You're dazed, but I pull you to your feet. <sighs> Was that chewing gum before? Bad ass. That was the wildest show I have ever seen. 
<laughs> or like talked about. Told you'd be worth it. And you're walking away with, let's see, one half smoked blunt, a solo cup that once contained a rum and coke, and the piece of gum that was inside the front woman's actual mouth. Oh God, that's gross. <laughs> If that was just a dry run, imagine what the real Revenge Wars show is going to be like. It's been a buck wild day, but that made me feel like, I don't know, maybe tomorrow my existence won't be things worse for everyone around me. Keep saying that about your day. What happened? Why are you so nice to me? Shit. I'm doing it again. My therapist says I latch on to people too quickly. But what am I supposed to do when I gel with someone? Act like a bitch? <laughs> yeah, dude. Bitchy women are a huge turn on, so. Oh? Good to know. Because I can be vicious. <sighs> Look, what can I say? I have a thing for emotionally unavailable women. Yeah, it's a, You're literally in my bar talking about yourself like you're a Category 5 hurricane. Um, sorry, did I do something wrong? No, no. I really really want to kiss you. Um, it's just that I, like I said, I tend to go for women who don't feel the same way about me and I need to know I'm not just projecting. So, you kiss me first. Do it. I'm a sucker for a good dare. But I'm also very polite. So you go first. Are you trying to break me? <laughs> Max Caulfield, you are the worst. Get off. Hell yeah, dude. About an hour. Uh, but before we do anything else, uh, maybe we should sleep on it. In my bed? <laughs> as much as I'd like that, um, I'd like to be able to tell my therapist I made good choices this week. You are a very smart woman. <laughs> uh, to be continued. Okay. Uh, for now, I, I have to get back to it.
What the hell? Someone broke in their what house? The hell? We now return to your regularly scheduled fuckery. <laughs> Whoever was here really messed this place up. What were they looking for? No, 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 no. All my Arcadia Bay stuff. What the hell do they want with this? Safi's books. What could anyone want with those? The kitty. Oh no. You're scared. Your know, homebreaker scare you. Hey, you're okay? What happened? Did you see who came in? <laughs> oh man. Hey now, I bet your claws were sharper than theirs. Oh, you hey, cutie! Jump, I'll catch you. Oh, you stay up there then. Gather your thoughts. What the <gasps> fuck? They're still here? Fuck! I think they just went into the dark room. I can't let them go through my investigation stuff. Is that her? Oh, shit. Okay, you just freeze, okay? I don't know what the fuck is happening, but until I do, you're staying put. Right where you are. Yeah, that really doesn't work for me. What? Wait!
How do I get across? Doorways to the other world on this side of the log. I need to find a way to track her from this timeline. Aha. Shit. How do I know which way? What the? I almost got her! Stop right there. Come from. Are you from the future? Is this what's been going on with you? <laughs> that you've completely lost the plot? I don't understand. Why were you in my house? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? All that stuff. In your dark room? About Lucas? About Vin? About Gwen? Shit you have no reason to know about or care about! That's not true! I'm trying to help, Sophie! Of course you were! God, I'm so sick of people trying to help! Stop. Please. We can't touch each other. I've seen what happens. Please, trust me. Trust you? Go fuck yourself, Max. No! Oh! Ah! <sighs> 
Supermax? Come on. Let's get you warm. <laughs> I always said you were too soft for academia. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.